Welcome to my channel where we discuss business, business, business. Today, I'm going to discuss how to scale your construction business, your construction company. Now, this is a very different video from other forms of business scaling. Now, before we go deep, what is scaling and what is growth? Most companies don't know, or most business don't know the difference between growth and scaling. Now, let me describe growth for you to understand. If you have a product A, you have a system, you have everything in shape that sells product A, and you feel, oh, I've made much money from this product. Let me introduce a new product entirely, which will require new product line, new marketing line, new client line, everything new. In that case, we are talking of growth, or you are talking of growing your business. That's you are introducing a different service or a different product to a 16 one that is called growth. But scaling is optimizing the existing business structure. If product A is selling, how do I work on the existing structure to it for it to sell from one to 1,000? How do I get more customers? I have 10. How do I move from 10 to 100 using the existing structure that I use to acquire the 10 clients. So this is the difference between growth and structure and growth and scaling. Now, why do many business fail in scaling? They fail because they don't understand that scaling is data driven. For you to scale successfully, you must have existing data in your hand. Based on the data, you will work on what you have to have many uh, to have improvements in your business. So in the construction company, it requires strategic approach that balances scaling with maintaining quality and profitability. Now let's discuss some key areas to focus when you want to scale your construction business. Set clear goals and objectives. Define what scaling means to you. Does it mean going for a larger project? project? Does it mean expanding to other geographical location? Or does it mean adding other services? If you are planning adding other services, you are talking of growth. So scaling is that your project, you have, you've been managing small projects, you want a larger project. You work on the system you are, you have already to acquire larger projects. Then moving to a, a new geographical location is that you have a system, you have a structure already. That structure, you want to just move it to a different geographical location. That is your objective. You have to define it what you want exactly. Secondly, you evaluate your current operation. You identify your strength and weakness. How efficient is your process? Can you handle larger projects? You have to streamline your operations to pave way for smooth running. Now, the third thing you have to focus is your financial planning and budget. You have to develop a detailed financial forecast that consider the cost associated with expansion. Yes, including hiring staff, investing in equipment, and potential marketing expenses. These are the areas you have to focus when you are talking of scaling your construction business. Now, after you focus on this, how do you move from where you are to the next stage? That is, you have to build a strong foundation for scaling. And how do you do that? You acquire talents, talent acquisition and development. Yes. Scaling requires skilled personnel. That is just it. Focus on attracting and retaining top talent in construction management, field operations, and other key areas. Invest in training and development programs to keep your team up to date on the industry trend and best practices. Yes. Remember, we are talking of construction business. It requires a lot of hands, but not any how hands. So you must scale by acquiring skilled personnel. Then standardize the process. You develop clear, defined, and repeatable process for everything from project estimation and bidding to construction work 
and quality control. That is a system which I know you must have had already, but in this case now, you have to improve on it. Standardization ensures consistency and efficiency across all projects. Last but not the least in your foundation is investing in technology. Construction management software can automate some tasks, improve communication, and streamline project management. Utilize technology to optimize workflow and boost overall productivity. That is about the foundation of expanding or scaling your construction business. Now, let us talk of scaling to reach the right audience. So what do you do now? You expand your service offering. That particular service, you expand it. Consider or you consider offering additional services that complement the existing one. Yes, in this case now, scaling and growth in towels. You can add a, you can add other services but that are similar, closely similar to what you are doing. This could involve specializing in particular construction niche or partnering with other companies to provide a wider range of services. Remember, you are trying to move your company without, even if you are introducing another service, or partnering, you don't let go your major, your major area of specialization. The next way to scale is partnering with companies or established architects, engineering firms. Partner with these people that in your niche, it expands your client base, it expands your knowledge, it expands you are rich in the business. Now, marketing and business development. Develop a targeted marketing strategy to reach potential clients. Utilize industry publications, online directories, and network events to showcase your capability. These are the structures, the ways you move to maintain what? To scale your business. Now, maintaining profitability and quality. These are two things you cannot compromise when scaling your construction company. Efficient project management. Implement robust project management methodologies to ensure projects stay on schedule and within budget. Proactive communication and effective risk management are crucial in expanding or scaling your construction business. Cost control. Negotiate competitive rates with suppliers and subcontractors. Yes. Track project costs and meticulously and identify areas for cost saving. You can't remember the essence of scaling is to move that particular structure you have from point A to B while maintaining minimal expenses or minimum cost of doing it. Then above all, you must ensure perfect customer service. Yes, focus on delivery, exceptional customer service, maintain open communication, address concern promptly, and strive to exceed client expectations. Positive words of mouth is powerful for marketing tools. Remember, scaling is journey, not a destination. Be prepared to adopt your approach as you encounter new challenges and opportunities. But hold on. I have seen a lot of companies doing well. Then once they want to scare, you see them tremble. Why? Please subscribe, share. If you love my video, comment. Let's build a, a, a viable community. Why will a company crumble when it is about scaling. There's a reason for that. Watch the video, the link. Click on the link below, above, sorry, to watch the video on why businesses fail at the verge of scaling. That means 
you must kill. You cannot just kill. There are factors you put into place, like these ones you have listed, but there is a major factor, one major factor, that once you get it wrong, no matter how you plan, you will not scale successfully. So click and watch the video above. Comment, share as we build this team of uh, business gurus. Thank you for watching.